No, I, I forget that I called you up on that. It was a Mercedes Benz. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Chief Jerry Monahan from the Port Orange Police Department. To my right, Assistant Chief Wayne Miller. To my left, Captain Frank Smakowitz. Uh, today we are here at 900 North Swallowtail in the city of Port Orange. That's uh, that office behind me, suite number 105. This morning at 9.15, members of the Port Orange Police Department in conjunction with the Drug Enforcement Administration, the Attorney General's Office and Statewide Prosecutor, uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Florida Department of Health and State Attorney's Office officers uh, conducted a search warrant on the office of Dr. Amin Rahman, Atur Rahman, uh, at this building. Uh, the, uh, simultaneously, uh, a search warrant is be being conducted at his residence at, bear with me, simultaneously, a uh, search warrant is being conducted at the doctor's residence at 4234 Chatsworth Lane in Port Orange. The doctor is not being charged at this time. However, uh, pursuant to the search warrant, certain things are being taken into custody, including certain records. Um, and uh, we've also served search warrants on bank accounts at Regents Bank and at SunTrust Bank as well. And as you can see, a vehicle was taken into custody here. There'll be another vehicle taken into custody. Uh, this is an ongoing investigation that started uh, at least seven months to, months ago. The, uh, our, our officers and, and all the people that were aiding in the investigation were working very hard on it. The investigation was brought forth by a lot of complaints that we had in this community. And uh, through this time, we did undercover operations as well as very long, lengthy, surveillance operations conducted during the seven month period. Today's date, uh, the date for the search warrant has been planned for quite some time. Uh, so that uh, we got here today and the statewide prosecutor was here this morning. And she is here, not on premises, but she's with us and she's working on, on the warrants as we speak. Uh, there's not a lot of questions that I can answer. Uh, you were all given a press release sent by Captain Samakowitz earlier. Uh, we'll try to answer any that we can without going places we shouldn't go regarding the investigation. What are the allegations here, Chief, in terms of uh, that, that led to all this? Well, the allegations are that, that there is that there's basically a, a, the allegations haven't been, been put forth yet in terms of an arrest warrant. What we're searching for is further proof to indicate that we can show beyond any doubt or reasonable doubt that there is a uh, that there's a pill mill practice taking here. Uh, taking uh, place here, and that this doctor is dispensing pills uh, without without uh, proper medical uh, treatment, and uh, and it has to deal a lot with the uh, medical his medical practice. What but again, but again, those allegations were not put forth yet. Uh, the search warrant uh, gets us to that point if we find what we think we're going to find in the search warrant, and uh, and the investigation will be pending uh, that information once it's correlated examined by the statewide prosecutor. What kind of complaints did you get from, you were saying, the community? Was it business people who said there's a lot of people hanging out here, or was it family members of people who were coming here and buying pills? I would say it was all the above. I, I, would, say, I would say during the last seven or eight months, uh, we've gotten complaints from everybody. We've gotten anonymous written complaints. We've gotten anonymous phone calls. Uh, we've, we've gotten, I'm sure, uh, complaints from family members that saw their, their uh, perhaps their family members uh, in, in having a problem. And, and, and from uh, uh, 
uh, businesses in this area, not just in, in this uh, shopping center or the center, but in the general area about the activity that was going on. Here. Describe a little of that, what the businesses have been telling you. Just in and out, revolving door, what are they saying? Well, I, I wouldn't characterize it as businesses telling us. I would say general information is that the amount of traffic and, and uh, with the, the amount of activity here was uh, pretty much well beyond what a normal uh, practice would be for. Can you talk a little bit about what is in the press release in terms of the possible spread of really uh, toxic medications to the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars? Well, I, I don't know. It's a pretty broad question. So I, I don't know other than, than, you know, let me just characterize it by saying, you know, we, we, we saw a problem here, what we, what we believe is a problem. And, and I think it's fair to say that we know it's a problem throughout the state of Florida. We're addressing it in our community. Uh, so the, the time and the effort, the resources that we put into this investigation were well worth uh, what we hope to get out of, of the investigation, and that's to, to shut down this, this operation uh, so, that it, so that the problems that we had here uh, in the past will no longer be a part of our community. Do you know if anybody else is involved in this, or is it just solely the doctor, anybody else that may have known what he was doing in the, in the uh, doctor's office? Well, there, there's a lot that, that the investigation will, will yield, I'm sure, in terms of uh, what's going to happen after all the agents and all the investigators get an opportunity to pour over all the information and evidence that is gleaned today by the search warrants. But, uh, but at this point in time, we're focusing on Dr. Rahman. Is this his only office chief, do you know? Yes, that, that we're aware of, yes. And how big a staff? I don't know, there's a couple people. That's about it. Yeah. Not how many patients? No. A, but a you, lot. <laughs> well, I would say uh, one of the other things is that, uh, you know, if, if and when an arrest occurs, uh, you know, there'll be a lot more information available in terms of uh, some of the questions that you're, that you're seeking answers to and, and that we're all seeking answers to. But in the meantime, this doctor is closed. There is no practice going on here. So people in this community that frequent this doctor should be advised they don't need to come here anymore because it's closed. And the doctor uh, will not be uh, seeing any patients and will not be dispensing any medication. Okay. Was the okay. car confiscated as like an accessory to what he was doing here? Or? Well, it's, it's, it was taken for forfeiture. Forfeiture and uh, civil forfeiture. We, we're moving on a civil forfeiture on the. On so you're the, alleging on, that somehow the car is involved in this operation. I don't want to comment on that, but it's it's civil yeah. for, it's civil forfeiture. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Appreciate right. it. Thank you.